I feel like we could use some seatbelts. <laughs> <laughs> Today in our last video in Cappadocia before continuing on our road trip around Turkey, we take a rather adventurous Jeep safari to explore the history of this valley. Good Look grief. This. What in the, this is insane. Mine below. <laughs> <laughs> But the rest of the day was just filled with constant examples of how kind and hospitable the Turkish people are. Oh, I just want to cry. I just like, everybody's just so nice. Like, I don't even know how to handle it. We are so excited to continue our road trip around Turkey, visiting an additional 16 cities, so don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss a video. But thanks for joining us today for what we think is the best way to experience Cappadocia. <laughs> it is another 5 a.m. wake up time today. Uh, we're hoping the balloons will fly again today. Weather can always change last minute, but you get up just to see. You guys ready? All right, let's go. We did a super cold hike to get out here where there are no other people around us, but absolutely worth it. We're right in the midst of all the balloons. Is it worth getting up this early? No. No? <laughs> Next time are you gonna sleep in? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll come cool. out without you. That's why we need a nanny. <laughs> <laughs> And coffee. I've had any coffee yet today. Hey, but you're smiling. Of course I'm smiling. With no coffee, all you need is either coffee or hot air balloons. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> I didn't mean that to sound so mean. <laughs> hey, what are you doing in my car? It's not that dusty. <laughs> Everybody cozy back there? Okay. Getting warmed up. All right, there we go. <sighs> the weather is very strange here. It's like 32 in the morning and 70 in the afternoon. Yeah, it'll be really hot. We'll be in like t-shirts so, in the afternoon. Yep. Whew. pleasant surprise ever. We just walked into this um, pottery shop. We were just and... driving down the street and saw it. <laughs> and he invited us back into the room where they make pottery and he showed us how they make some pottery and then he allowed the girls to have a turn and oh my goodness that was just so special. We had so much I fun. <laughs> and then, play left on and then, oh does she have some? I didn't get it all wiped off. That's all right. And then they gave the girls little keychains that are so cute and special and I just, I'm and just amazed. How much did we pay for that? Nothing. We paid nothing. We just, I don't know. <laughs> we just went right in and they just met with us with such hospitality and it's just so special. So we will link the information for this place down below because if you are coming to Cappadocia, you need to come to this shop. It's amazing. Good job, Chloe. Can you believe that? You made it! Oh man, this looks so cool! Merhaba, yakşamlar! Wow! <laughs> I'm excited! So we are headed off on a Jeep safari around Cappadocia. <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> Oh my goodness! Hang on tight. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Whoa! Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's like a roller coaster. <laughs> wow! 
I don't feel like that should be possible. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh. <laughs> Who's that? Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> I feel like we could use some seatbelts. <laughs> Hang on tight, Alexa. This is insane. The car's not even breaking a sweat. <laughs> this is the craziest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> so I had, I had no idea this is what we were getting ourselves into. I didn't either. This is so good. We're not best dakika. Hola. Best dakika? Best dakika. Do you know what that means? <sighs> Me either. Careful. Whoa, big jump. Okay, no, 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 Chloe. Daddy will help you. I thought we were gonna go on like a nice peaceful ride this evening. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster. <laughs> you should have known because I was the one that booked it. But I didn't even know it was gonna be like that. <laughs> my that arm is that... gonna be so sore from holding Chloe so tight. But oh my that goodness, how much fun! Was awesome. <laughs> That's a good find, Chloe. Do you know how all of those structures were formed? Of the wind and water. Ah oh, man, I thought I was gonna teach you something new. Pretty big contrast to have that roller coaster of a ride and then land someplace so peaceful. I know. It's kind of like a adrenaline and then. Where <laughs> <laughs> this guy get his license? <laughs> so he just gave us a warning. I think might get a little crazy here. <laughs> are, you, are you okay? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know that you cannot see this in the camera, but he's going. Oh my goodness. He's going sideways. He's going sideways. It should not be possible. <laughs> I think he's starting to enjoy himself here with all of the children's screams and mine, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I'm like full out trying to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> and he takes he takes a phone call. <laughs> I'm hanging on for my life and he's making a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's like a workout. <laughs> I think this guy likes his job too much. <laughs> what a fun job. <laughs> All right, back into peaceful Woo. mode. So Exploring yes. history. Oh man. <laughs> Whoa, kids, look at this. So cool. This whole region is covered in just the most amazing history. You could spend years here and never touch everything. This is an old church and an old hospital. Is that what hospital. you said? It's just crazy. It's beautiful. Daddy, do you think that's a church? Yeah, that definitely looks like a church. Girls, do you see the pigeons up there? Oh. <laughs> so those small holes up top, they made houses for the pigeons. They wanted the pigeons to live in there. Do you know why? Mm -hmm. So that they could collect the pigeon poop. Ew! True story. Why? They would use it as fertilizer so that they could grow food. Whoa. Really? Good grief. What in the... This is insane. This was a church. Obviously. Kids, they carved this out of the rock. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I don't know, I feel like one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. It's just like you walk in here and it's so grand. Like from the outside, it just looks like you can a cave, see you know? A person carved out there. there is a little person carved up there. What's amazing is that they didn't build these pillars. They just slowly carved away and started to make this shape here. Mind blown. Wow. <laughs> wow, this is crazy. Echo, echo, echo. Look, you can see into the other church. That's awesome. Now 
it's a house for pigeons. Oh, pigeon droppings. Did you just get food droppings? Nope, not yet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Looks like a grave. It is. That's a grave. It's it's so hard because we don't <laughs> have time to. This is so amazing. I know. I did not really. This. I did not really Daddy, expect to see something this pictures. special. Show mommy the pictures. Uh, you want to show mommy your picture? Yeah. All right, hey, deal. Daddy. <laughs> Switch sides. This arm is like so sore from holding on to her. <laughs> but good grief! Look at this view Whoa. that we just arrived to. Man, wow. Whew. It's a little, a little eerie, a little creepy in here. But this entire massive structure is called the Pigeon House because its sole purpose is to house pigeons. All of these cubby holes are for pigeons to live in. It's just rather impressive. Someone said your name had a ton of room. Suddenly you're there standing in the crowd. Everything comes back in the blink of an eye. It's like you're mine. You're still mine. Babe. Is this your first champagne? <laughs> it's not alcoholic, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, was that so much fun? <laughs> She's fancy now, I think. Super fancy. <laughs> hey, can I have the last sip? Yep. I can feel the dirt on my face. It's a nice exfoli between your teeth exfoliation. Abi, teşekkürler. Çok güzel. Teşekkür ederiz. Do you have a problem with this shop? <laughs> I, I may have a problem. <laughs> it's such a gorgeous store. They just the quality of these bags and they're just so pretty and Which I just they do, can't help myself. <laughs> they do sell online. Oh gonna, they do. I'm gonna plug this store. You can buy through Instagram. So Instagram yeah. link right here. You will you just have to trust us on the quality. Oh my goodness. It's just outstanding. They're amazing. You wanna make one? You want to make one? <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. Your bubble. Oh, that's the one that you oh started my goodness. on. He saved it for you. So the last oh, time we were together. in here, um, he was making the hot air balloons and Chloe wanted to help. So she yeah. pitched in oh, and started yeah. learning how to sew up the hot air balloons. And he, she is just... It. He kept it where it was. Yes, he kept it right where it was, where she, what she had done. she's back to finish the job. Yep, and she is just. She talked about she's this in her all element. day yes. yesterday, wanting to come back yes. and work on it. She could not wait to get back. Abi nizakitin ichin Chloe, if you if you make the whole balloon, you can keep it. What do you think? What do you think, buddy? You keep working hard, okay? Did you make that? That's so cool. That's amazing. Alexa, come here. You helped too, huh? You guys did such a good job. <laughs> oh, good girl. I don't even know what to say about that because it's, you know, over and over again, I feel like we're just constantly surprised with the amazingness of Turkey and its people and I don't know, the, the just kindness and hospitality that is shown to us is something that is just hard to put into words and it's just completely like out of the goodness of their hearts. They want to offer you tea and give you the best experience that they can because they're just nice people. They're just kind people. They're just loving people and it just is amazing to me. 
a lot to learn from them. We have a ton to learn from, from Turkish culture, for sure. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> oh, good job. Oh, good. Oh, my good goodness. Job, Alexa. I just want to cry. I just, like... Everybody's just so nice. Like, I don't even know how to handle it. Oh, thank you so much. I should get this. <laughs> All we did was sit down at a restaurant. We haven't even had time to order yet. <laughs> we have been here a few times. We have been here. We've few, come here a few times. A we couple really times. Like it here. But it's like the but best food ever. So <laughs> it's because yeah, I don't know. That's we can call Grammy and Grandpa and Mimi and Papa, and we'll say, please move. To this country, Turkey, Turkey, and then, and then mom. Oh, yeah, so she said she wants to call Mimi and Papa, which are my parents, and Grammy and Grandpa, which are Brittany's parents, and uh, tell them they should come move to Turkey, and then she wants to stay here. <laughs> the only thing that Turkey's missing. <laughs> Is Mimi and Papa and Grammy and Grandpa. And some other family and friends, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll live and here and forever. And you would want to live here forever? What are you doing? <laughs> are you doing? <laughs> I bow. Alright, so this is probably my favorite dish in this entire region. This is Tabuk Sach, which this I'm a little confused by. Yeah, the girls got pasta. They like the pasta. So it's... Um, basically just chicken and tomatoes and rice and all kinds of really good spices. What confuses me is it's called tavuk sach. Tavuk is chicken, sach, as far as I understand, is hair. So I, I really don't know why, if anyone speaks proper Turkish, explain to me, is there two meanings for sach or is it called chicken hair? Like I, <laughs> which doesn't make any sense. But anyways, it's served on this metal tray with a candle underneath to keep it warm. Um, this place does it the best. Um, they add in what I think are Italian spices, which is definitely a, a very different spin, but it's just so delicious. We are currently exploring the underground city of Drenkuyu, which translates to Deep Well. But this is the largest Nothing. underground city in all of Turkey. Chloe says it's the perfect size for her and all the little tunnels. <laughs> so at its peak, uh, nearly 20,000 people lived here. And every little bit they had these round stone doors that they could seal off in case of any intruders. So the Christians would live here with all of their animals. There's room for their livestock. They have food storage, kitchens, rooms. It's just, I can't. I can't imagine having nearly 20,000 people living underground in what essentially is an elaborate anthill for humans. We're going into a tunnel right now that has no light. This was used as a confessional. My head can barely. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were super brave. Wow. High five, buddy. That was super wow. brave. Chloe, give me a high That's five. so brave, you girls. Super brave. Brave but not afraid. Sing it, Chloe. Brave but not afraid. Brave but not afraid. Here, I'll get my flashlight out because it's really dark. Chloe, you're super brave. When they would have a death when they were underground hiding, then they would store the bodies here for the few days. What'd you find? A cross. Whoa. Right there. Good find. Wow. Good job. There's a ton of different entrances to the underground city. This one is one of the hidden entrances. But just to put it in perspective, they must have been so small. <laughs> Much smaller than you. Because, I mean, this is crazy. Now you get out there before you get stuck. No. <laughs> I want to see it. No, Daddy, you're going to get stuck. 
shortcut. So uh -huh. It looks yeah. so cool. Should we just go the shortcut? <laughs> so this is a well. And then they would pour water into here. And this would become a baptism pool. So to make wine, <laughs> they would throw grapes down the hole into here. That's how so you they would squish the all wine. the grapes. And then the grape juice would go down through that hole into a bucket. Can you imagine? And then, uh -huh. then you're drinking grape juice that was on the floor. So smushed with feet. <laughs> Little smushed toes. Feet. <laughs> uh, so yesterday, Alexa asked me an interesting question. She, she said, Daddy, why do we put our videos on YouTube? Um, she's getting to that age where she asks really good questions mm -hmm. and um, she knows, both of them know, the main reason we make our videos is so that we can remember the experiences that we're having, uh, mostly because my memory is so terrible. <laughs> um, but also for them to look back on when they're older. That, that's why we make these videos. Um, but that's not why we put them on YouTube. She wanted to know, why do we put our videos on YouTube? And my response to her was, um, it's a difficult thing to explain. Um, but what I told her was, Alexa, did you know that a lot of people are afraid of the world and would be afraid to come to Turkey? And her response was, what? <laughs> it was so dramatic. Just like complete shock. <laughs> it just was like her mind just Pew. <laughs> exploded. It was it was rather funny actually, but it was a completely sincere. Like she was just so shocked by that, um, and it's, that's because she's experienced firsthand the the mm -hmm. Turkish hospitality and and the kindness of the people mm -hmm. here um, on a level that. Is, is hard to receive sometimes. It's, it's just unmatched kindness. And you don't know, it's like when you're put in that position to receive that level of kindness, you almost don't even know what to do. Um, Especially as an American. As an American. Because, because that's not really so part of our far culture. from our culture. I mean, yeah. we, we have, have our own versions of being nice, but like it's not. I would say. The same. Oh, that's oh Chloe's. Kids are fun. We like oh, kids. Man. kids are Especially fun. in the morning before coffee. So anyway, trying to focus because I know I we need, have I need no to get the coffee down so I can focus. Um, this is gonna be. It's gonna be terrible. I'm sorry, if that this is this. real. This is real life. <laughs> I think going back to what I told Alexa, a lot of people are very afraid of the world, and they they don't need to be. Um, yes, there are dangers in the world. There's dangers. Everywhere. But there's dangers everywhere. Wherever um, you live, you know, there's there's its own dangers. I think that I, I really want to, in some small way, show people that the world is full of good people. I, I often think about the impact that Anthony Bourdain had mm. on me. And he really opened my eyes to the world. And he, really, I feel like he had a profound impact on my entire, our entire generation mm -hmm. of giving sure. us a wanderlust and yeah. um, a love for people who are different than us mm -hmm. and just seeing, seeing the world differently. And um, I could never aspire to have that level of impact. However, like if, if, I could, if we could have just a small level of impact in, in a similar way, then I would be very happy. Um, Absolutely. And if that means we spend away all of our <laughs> savings and go broke, but have some level of impact, then I, st it. I still would be happy. It's, it's, I'm still working to find the words, and I'm really not good with words. I do pictures, not words. <laughs> um, but that's how I explain it to Alexa, is we want people to know that the world is full of good people and beautiful places and it's it's a, a good thing to want to explore it. It's worth exploring. So I guess to that end, like because of that desire to hopefully have some small level of impact, like we do want the channel to grow. Yeah. And uh, we never started the channel with that intent. No. Um, but now now we want that because we have this desire to have some level of impact and um, we don't know how 
if that's even possible in the way that we're currently shooting like right now we're capturing family memories but hopefully that's showing the world something but maybe later on in 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 life the, the videos will change to tell more real local stories yeah. I, I we don't know we, we talk about this often yeah. but um people have a hard time understanding what it is that we're doing and um how we can afford to do these things and you know we did sell everything we own and we are living off of that right now we are hoping that that will last us a long time um but we don't make a lot of money off of youtube right now i think that's a common yeah, misconception. Don't understand that. it's a common misconception that you know anyone that's doing this is like making a ton of money and can afford to go anywhere yeah. and do anything. That's not true at all. The hourly you know? rate is somewhere hovering <laughs> around 15 cents an hour of work. Yeah. <laughs> and it is work. She does it is a it. lot of work. And, and yeah. we've been talking a lot about like how to balance all of that because we're here right now. And it's like, I don't want to sit inside of a cave and edit. I want to be outside and I want to be soaking up everything this place has to offer but at the same time like i have to you know continue working because that's what we have you know we've made a commitment to do that and that's part of you know that's why we're doing this is so that we can share what we're experiencing with anyone who's interested in watching yeah so if you if you do enjoy the videos like when you when you see them if you could give them a like leave us a comment like that there is this strange thing called the YouTube algorithm also, also helps sub us grow. subscribing if you're not already I know some people think like you have to like pay to be a part of YouTube no. to be a subscriber that's not true you at all you just have to create an account yes and then, it's free um, it's free to create an account and then if you click that subscribe button it's really the best way um, and also that bell um, that way you're notified when we post new videos um, it's really the best way to use the platform, um, but it also helps us grow as we kind of yeah. find out what we're what we're doing and how we move forward. But anyways, thank you for watching. There's a drone flying over us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> tomorrow we are heading to Gaziantep, and we have a very exciting stuff along the way. Oh yeah, ice cream. Ice cream. We actually talked about um, like how cool it would it be if we could bring some people back yeah. next time, like maybe next year, um, try to grab um, a dozen people and bring them back and, and do some sort of group tour like mm -hmm. thing. Um, and that's probably just like a lofty idea. I think that'd be so fun. Though. Um, it would be so neat to have a group of people to show them around. Because um, I think I think that I mean it's. It can be, an, I remember it being an intimidating destination when we first decided yeah. to come here last time um, of how do we get here, how do we get around, um, but man, it's just one of the coolest places in the whole world. Um, so, so I don't know, That's that may be something that we work towards. If that's something you might be interested in, I guess reach out to us, let us know, let us, um, but we'll keep that in the back of our minds. Yeah.